Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn and start mini series on Angular pipes. We'll learn what are pipes, why are they used, how are they used, what are the different built-in types of pipes, can we, how can we create custom pipes, how can we chain them, how can we parameterize them. We'll learn all about it in this particular mini series of Angular 10. This is part 30 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I am planning around 100 tutorials for you. And once we cover the foundations and the fundamentals, we'll be starting with our live project. Please make sure you check out the description box, which has all the links to the tutorials and the videos. Also the GitHub link, which has all the notes that I'm making. All right. So these are all the uh, tutorials that I've already covered on these topics and I've covered them in detail with notes and with examples, practical use cases. Make sure you check them out to so that you have continuity in learning and you can learn and master Angular 10. Today's is the 30th episode. Today we are learning about pipes in Angular. So what are pipes uh, in Angular, right? Um, so pipes are used to transform the data, right? You give an input and you get a desired output right in the desired format so it's simple right it has a pipe think of it as like an analogy right you have an input from one end and you have output on the other hand so you pass some data as input and you tell the system like what it needs to do like for example you want to transform it you want to massage it you want to extract some data out of it and then show it that's the desired format the desired format always goes into the template, right? So this is all done in the template side. Now pipes are written using the pipe operator, which is single line, right? You see that pipe operator. Now we can apply pipes to any view, any template. We can use any number of pipes in template. We can use parameterized pipes. We can use chain pipes. We can use built-in pipes. We can use custom pipes. Any number of pipes are allowed in template. Let's talk about different types of pipes. Now there are different types of pipes that Angular provides. Angular has some built-in pipes. Those are called built-in pipes. That means they are readily available for us to use. Some of them are date, currency, uppercase, lowercase, JSON, etc. Now we can also pass parameters, right? For example, date, you can pass which, like, which um, format you want. You can pass parameter to it. For currency, you can pass a parameter and say which country code you want, right? Which country currency you want. So we can pass those parameters. Next, we can also chain them. What do you mean by chain? Chaining means you can connect multiple pipes to a single data input, right? For example, you can say first you do uppercase, then you, then you do currency, right? Or date. Right? So you can connect multiple pipes together and get a desired output. It's like a mix and match, right? So that you can do with chaining. That means you can apply more than one chain to get the desired output. Finally, we have something called custom pipes. Now using custom pipes, we can create our own logic and say how the data should be formatted, how it should be displayed in the template, right? So that is, that is where we can create our own custom pipes. Now the question is how many custom pipes can we create any number of custom pipes that we wish any number of custom pipes that our application demands right there is nothing that stops us of course there are some rules like you cannot use some built-in keywords right which is very obvious that i should uh, as a developer we all know that right you cannot use some proper uh, key reserved keywords other than that you can name pipe anything and use it right that was all about uh, overview of pipes. I'll keep it simple in this episode because next episode I'll talk about built-in pipes, parameterized chaining and like that. So we are nearing um, our foundation concepts clearance. The next one after this will be routing, which is the important part. And then we start our application looking forward for it. I hope you are gaining knowledge. I hope I'm making things easy and simple and clear for you. If you like my work, please do like the video. Please do uh, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like my work and my tutorials, uh, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. 
Thank you so much in advance. In the next episode, we will learn about built-in pipes in Angular. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode.